my name is Maxwell Boydi. And uh, I've been painting for almost 15 years now as an artist. I have a few exhibitions within the country and outside the country. Um, this has made me and my style to be established as an artist. And the kind of painting that I do, I call it um, impasto painting because I use the knife to uh, explain the subject and the themes that I try to work on. And being an artist, I've also realized that it is not only one team that uh, I see because I am a contemporary artist. Whatever I see is art to me. So what makes the Ghanaian art a little bit different from the rest of the uh, artists in the world is because of the culture. To bring it the rich colors we have in our country, the, 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 the bright colors, the greens, the yellows, and the browns, and the, and the, and the reds, that makes it more a little bit different from the rest of the artists in it because we use the, the bright colors we have in our country. Every artist try to uh, portray what they know and what surrounds them as a contemporary artist. So when you come to Ghana, the things that we have and the things that we, uh, we, we see around us, like our culture, uh, our activities, the fishmongers, the women, uh, having children at their back, the way they put their children on their back, or the symbols that we have, in our in our country, the Jinami, uh, the, the Trema, and the all those kind of symbols that we try to portray in our work as a Ghanaians, that makes it a little bit different from the rest of the artists in the world. Looking at the growth of artists or art in Ghana, the artists and their work are growing rapidly, unlike the first that the way art started in Ghana because the young are challenging the market, the African market or the Ghanaian market, which people from all over the world are seeing and they are coming down and they are buying from uh, the Ghanaian artists. So I can see that the Ghanaian artist is growing rapidly. In the next 15 years or 20 years to come, that uh, I'm going to be like Professor Glover or more than him to establish my own gallery, to put down some structures which is going to help people who are, who are a little bit interested in art or my art so that they can also have a place to uh, exhibit their work or to practice the art, the kind of art that I am doing as an artist in Ghana.